Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am sitting down and putting makeup on. I don't think I've done this in a couple of weeks. It's been a while, but I've been wearing makeup like a lot lately and it's been so nice. And I've been wearing a lot of eyeshadow every day and I've just been having a lot of fun with makeup. So I'm super excited to sit down and film this. I was like thinking about filming it yesterday and I was just like getting all excited and ready and I like cleaned up my setup and I cleaned my mirrors and I'm just like ready to go beach. Like let's do this. So for today's particular makeup look, I asked you guys on Instagram um, what video you wanted to see, whether it was a February favorites first or my everyday makeup first, and you guys picked everyday makeup majority. I do polls a lot on um, Instagram, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, you can follow me there. It'll be down below in the description as per usual. It's just at allfamilia. So today I'm just going to be filming my everyday makeup. That's all I have to say, so let's just get started. I uh, have my little Raycon bud in so I can listen to some music because Raw Beauty Christy did it in her video and I was like, oh yeah, that's such a good idea. And so that's what I'm doing today. And yeah, I got Raycon because um, Drew Monson told me to. As for music, I'm listening to chill tracks on Spotify. Uh, usually I'm the type of person who listens to the same like 12 songs over and over again for 10 million years. Um, but today we're switching it up, beaches. First, I start with a primer. One that I've been really loving is the e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer. But the one I've been using every day most recently has been the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I saw this restock on Amazon randomly. It was on like the front page and I was like, oh, finally, because I've been waiting for this forever, like checking London Drugs, checking Walmart all the time trying to find it. And I've been using it and so far I think I like it. I say I think because one day I think I applied way too much and you could see every pore I had and they looked huge and it was totally my bad i don't know what the heck happened i i, I really think it was just because i added too much um i don't think you need a lot of this and i only really apply it in my t-zone and then like spread it outwards with my fingers and i think that's all you need to be completely honest um because yesterday i wore it properly like with a proper amount and my makeup lasted all day okay so while i let my primer sink in that's when i do my eyebrows um, i don't like to apply foundation right on top because i just want to make sure that the primer is hopefully working i don't know if it does but let's hope for the best <laughs> so it's 12 o'clock right now today i work until about 8 30 9 o'clock at night so i need my makeup to last i want to take photos after this and then i want my makeup to last all night which is most days for work i have been loving the covergirl true blend matte made foundation usually i don't like really mattifying foundations but this one's not too bad mine's in the shade l20 it says it's a 12 hour foundation i just find that this lasts a really long time i've had it for a long time the bottle's half gone i'm just kind of using up what i have and by the way ew i know it's so disgusting oh i totally just said i was gonna do brows and then i grabbed my foundation we are doing brows first <laughs> Oops, but this is the foundation I will be using. Yikes, what is wrong? Okay, so brows first. I'm using the Anastasia. Um, this is the, the brow pomade. I've been using this lately. This is in medium brown. It's really dried out, but that's why I like it um, because it doesn't apply too much product. Can't believe I was like, yeah, so first I do my brows while the primer sinks in and then I just like grab my foundation. I was like, fuck it, doing whatever I want. My eyebrows are microbladed, so I just like follow the shape. My touch up actually is coming up soon, I believe it's in April, so I'm excited to get a touch up because some of the lines are definitely fading, but um, microblading my brows is like the best thing I've ever done, by the way. So if you are wondering about it, seriously, it's the best. That is one brow done uh, compared to the next, and that's as good as she's gonna get for today. Next, I just put this clear, uh, e.l.f. clear brow gel through the brows. I've been liking doing my brows first. I never used to do that, but it just is easier to clean up the edges. Okay, so now it's foundation time, Amelia. Hold your horses, girlfriend. I'm just going to put the foundation on the back of my hand. Just with this, like, e.l.f. shitty <laughs> $1 brush, um, I apply my foundation with it. It's actually perfect for that. I just use the Eco Tools sponge to blend it out. Um, okay, I want to talk about 
um, a new YouTuber I found. Her name is Smoky Glow, and I found her through Raw Beauty Christie. She was talking about her in her video, and since then, I have watched, like, all of her videos. I've just been binge watching her every single day. So well spoken. I love just what she talks about, her conversation, the positivity she spreads on her channel, the awareness she brings to important topics like politics, loves makeup, has a passion for it, and obviously I can relate to that. And yeah, I just love her, so I wanted to talk about her on my channel too, because if you aren't subscribed, then you should go subscribe. She's so good. I really like her and I think she deserves more subscribers than she has. Besides that, who else is excited for Animal Crossing? Because I am. I really like the idea of doing like an ASMR series of Animal Crossing where I just like play and like chat and just like hang out. Um, and let me know if you'd want to see that. Maybe not ASMR exactly, but just like calming, chill, really relaxing music, just playing the game. Let me know if you'd want to watch that. And I'm really excited because it comes out on a Friday. I've already pre ordered it digitally and it comes out on a Friday so all I'm doing that weekend is Animal Crossing. That's it. Okay next I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape as my concealer. Under my eyes uh, to start but with my concealer and this one because it dries quickly I also do this in sections as well. Luke and I are kind of in the process of hopefully purchasing a condo. If anyone lives in Vancouver, BC, then they know how much it is to live here and just the lower mainland surrounding it. It's just unreal. So uh, things are tricky. We're budgeting. We're working on it. Um, we have a realtor and everything and we have one place that we are very interested in. So we are just hopefully in the process of being able to put in an offer, but we shall see. That's my, I've been all consumed with that lately. It takes up so much time. Like I said, I've been getting back into makeup again and playing with eyeshadow, which is great because I went through definitely quite a while there where I wasn't playing with it and I just didn't really care to be completely honest with you. My foundation and concealer is not layering well. It's the fucking primer. It's the primer. It looks like crap. I'm getting these big pores and these weird lines. I wonder if I can blend this out with a brush. That looks so bad. Oh my gosh. I don't know, you guys. Everyone talks about this e.l.f. putty primer, but once again, like, did I use too much? Let me know down below if you use it and you have issues with the two, because I'm having issues with layering on my cheeks, which I always layer on my cheeks because I have to build up product there. I'm going to try blending in the, this in with a brush instead and trying to get coverage that way because I need coverage right here. Otherwise my foundation and I feel like my skin just doesn't look complete. This is a level of coverage that I'm more comfortable with. This is what I was going for. So it's time to powder her because she's an oily fuck. I'm almost out of my RCMA no color powder. I'm getting there. Not yet but slowly. I just powder everywhere. I don't know how people don't powder. I don't understand it. I've tried it. Um, it just leaves me so effing oily. I just can't. Perfect. She's all dry as hell. I love that for me. I'm gonna go in with the Milani eyeshadow primer and put some of that on my eyelids. Okay, can I be honest? I'm over listening to random music because I haven't found one song yet. Okay, I found one. I haven't found multiple songs yet that I even like. So if you like sad music, like sad indie music, um, Drew Monson, who's a YouTuber on the platform, is a singer-songwriter as well. I guess you would say he's a singer-songwriter. And he has an EP on Spotify or Apple Music or whatever, and it's called Some Other Light. And it's so it's so good. I love Drew. Drew is one of my favorite people. He, side note, responded to me on Twitter. I lost my shit. Um, I try not to act like it in the tweets. I think I went a little too far. I deleted one because I was like, ew, stop. He's everything. I just really, really like him. I like his views. I like what he's about. Um, I can relate to him a lot. He deals with mental health issues and like girl same. And yeah, I don't know. I just, he talks and the way he talks and some of the thoughts he has, and like the process of how he says things, it's very similar to how I think. And 
he's just a very relatable person. So anyway, um, his music is very good and I like this EP a lot. Now we are moving on to eyeshadow. I said it was just like a white eyeshadow that I had. I think it was just like a random MAC one lying around that's like a million years old. Anyway, this is the BH Cosmetics Zodiac palette. Um, this isn't my everyday go-to palette. It's very nice though. The colors are similar to what I would do every day and also just like every day for eyeshadow, I usually just pick like three colors of eyeshadow. I make it really simple. Unless I'm doing like a look, then I'll switch it up obviously and do more and do more to it. But when I'm just doing a simple look every day for work like this, I'll just pick like three colors and do something cute. Um, so today I want to go in with these colors here. These like, um, oh no, not those ones, these ones. Um, and do like a mustardy orange look because I want to wear my mustardy yellow sweater today to work. <laughs> Cute Amelia, matching your fucking makeup to your clothes, you ho. First, I'm going to go in with this color here. And yeah, I'm going to make this a simple look, like only a few colors because that's what I would do every day. I want to like get more tattoos and like on my arms and stuff, but I'm always scared that like one day I might get a job that's like, I don't know, more quote unquote like professional and like office-y and then I'll be fricked. I don't think that's gonna ever happen because I don't see myself doing anything other than like artistic work, but um, I don't know, I'm scared. But then the other part of me is like <laughs> YOLO. That's the first color I'm applying here. So I just applied it to the crease, brought up a little and then blended it out with this little blender brush I always use. It has no product on it. I just use it to blend out my other colors. And now I'm going to repeat on the other side. Next, I'm going to go in and deepen it up with Leo, which is right next door to uh, Cancer. Side note, I really like working later two days of the week. Um, Mondays and Wednesdays, I start at four o'clock. I really like it because I have my own time to like film videos like this and stuff during the day. And honestly, my night well, my night shift goes by so fast because I'm usually pretty booked up. Then I just come home and I go to sleep and I relax and I do my little night routine and my skincare and stuff and it's so much fun. But I just love being home during the day and being able to like film videos during the day. It's really nice because it's, it was hard finding filming time before and that's why I kind of stopped filming for so long is because like when did I have the time? And it was only one day a week that I kind of had a chance to film and to be completely honest, like I don't always want to. My mental health also was taking uh, a pretty big dump. <laughs> but um, I don't always want to. Sometimes I just want to fucking lay there and it's nice to know that now I have another day. If I don't feel like doing something on Monday, I can just do it on Wednesday or vice versa. Perfect, so that color just deepens it up a little bit. And then I go back in with the other one and blend that out. Yay for layering. So from here, I'm actually gonna go underneath my lash line with this color that I just used and um, get that part over with because I hate doing a lower lash line. I don't know why, I just do. Put that under here. I also haven't been wearing um, lashes as much. I am taking a break of my lash extensions for a while, just until the summer maybe. Um, also, Luke and I are trying to save money, so that's another thing. Um, but I do like having them because it's what I do for work, and honestly, it's the most convenient thing ever. And to be completely honest, I just haven't been putting on falsies because I don't love them. I like them for occasions or certain looks, but every day for work, they're frustrating because when I'm lashing, they kind of like make my eyes water, and I, I'm concentrating so hard already that they just are kind of a nuisance. So. I kind of just stop wearing them and I just wear mascara and honestly it makes me want to do eyeshadow so much more because like when I sit down to do my makeup thinking about doing eyeshadow just means liner, lashes, the whole shebang. I hate lashes. They're just so fucking annoying. I guess maybe it's just because I'm so used to eyelash extensions now but they just don't bother you. You don't have to take them off and on all the time. There's no glue, trimming, cutting, nothing like that. Like, it's just so convenient. Um, so it's very hard for me to want to care even to put on um, falsies. So I just haven't been. And I can tell you my life isn't worse. I feel pretty good. Okay, next I'm going to go into just a little bit of this orange. That's right here with this Pisces brown here. I'm going to mix her up. 
and just apply that in the very outer corner. Okay, so that is the complete matte part of the eye. Before I go in with the shimmer, I'm just going to duplicate the same thing on the other eye. Next, um, for my shimmer on the lid, I'm gonna go in with Cancer, which is this shimmer yellow gold right here. Uh, I probably, probably should have put some glue down. I'm just going to wet a brush so that it sticks a little bit. Really pretty gold, it's just very glittery. It works better um, when you wet a brush to use it. It might have worked a little bit better as a cut crease, but that wasn't what I was doing today. Um, the shade is just very glittery and chunky. It's very pretty though, it just requires a little bit more finessing. I'm going to complete this eye and throw on some mascara. Right now, I'm just finishing up a tube of the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise. I like this one. Like I said, I usually do lash extensions, but this does the trick for now. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. Next, I'm going to apply a bronzer. This is a really nice drugstore one that has been my go-to lately. This is from Maybelline. It's... That doesn't sound good. This is the Maybelline City Bronzer in... 100? I guess that's the color. So just on a fluffy, big bronzer brush. I got this from Winners, I think. I'm just gonna take that. And just do like the basic three of my face. So cheekbone, down my jawline, on my forehead as well. I didn't always wear bronzer, actually. Bronzer is like one of the newer things in my makeup. Not newer, like obviously for the past couple of years I have been, but like, when I was a teenager and like getting into makeup and learning about makeup and stuff, bronzer was like never even on my radar. I just, ow, oh my God, ow. Oh, did you see that? What the fuck it just happened? That really hurt. Okay, yikes, I'm excited to watch that back. I don't know what I was saying. I think I was just saying that I used to embrace my pastiness. So for contour, um, I usually use this one. This is the Tarte Tarteiste Pro Glow. It does have a cream contour and when I'm going out or sometimes if I just feel like it, I'll do that. For most days, I use powder though. Um, so just on this BH brush, I'm gonna grab the Sculpt Powder shade and just like right here, just like, I find this to be not the best contour, to be completely honest. I used to think I really, really liked it, and I do like the palette, but I don't know. It's just a little patchy. I feel like you can see how patchy it really is in person. So I'm applying a lot more than I usually do because this has been really, really extra patchy today. So what I'm going to do is just apply a crap ton and then just blend it out, like, a lot. So this is my everyday contour, but I don't know if it should be. If anyone has a recommendation, especially from a drugstore, that would be ideal. I do have the NYX contour palette actually that I used to use. Had it for a few years, maybe I should bring that one back out. Oh God, this is so bad. Okay, I'm gonna blend the crap out of this. I'm really unhappy with my contour right now, so I'm just gonna go back in with the Maybelline City Bronzer and blend that over top and hope for the best. Um, normally my contour is not this crappy. Like I said, sometimes a palette can be a bit patchy. I think it also depends if like I use the cream under it, if I don't, what foundation I use, but sometimes it does react like this and it's really, really frustrating um, because it just doesn't blend out and it doesn't matter what I do. I think I'm gonna also like bake under my cheeks as well just because I have the time and I think I need it. Um, I don't always do this either. Sometimes I will if I find that I need to, sometimes like, my makeup will travel too far down and I wanna lift it back up because that's the whole point of contouring is to like lift your cheekbones, not to dry them down. Sometimes that is all you need. Um, and I'll leave that there for a few seconds while I apply my lip color. We had a little mishap, it's okay. We'll get back on track eventually. So I'm gonna go in with something nude because I want to be as nude as possible because this, these eyes are a little bit brighter. So first I'm just gonna take this NYX lip pencil. It's in the color Nude Suede Shoes. I've heard good things about this one. Um, I've used it a lot and I do like it as well. 
And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Beige Babe Matte Lipstick. I've got like a little teeny itty bitty bit of this left. It's one of my favorite lipsticks though, and lipstick formulas. I really like the color and I think it goes nicely with the eyes. I'm just going to wipe this product away. I mean, I can only do as much as I can do. If it's not blending 100%, oh well. It's not perfect, but it's better than where we started. But for my blush, I'm going in with my favorite. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in Mood Exposure. It's just my go-to. I know it's not affordable and I don't love talking about it because of that. My favorite blush. If you want a drugstore one, I like Milani. Um, Wet n Wild. If you have any recommendations for good drugstore blushes, let me know. Sometimes blush can save the contour. Oh yeah, I think that looks better already. It's very intense on camera, I promise. It's not that intense in person. So for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with a favorite of mine. This is the Milani highlighter. I like this one, it's affordable, but it's very high in quality. I would compare it to my Becca ones, it's very good. Um, it's in 01 Strobe Light, but they do have other colors as well. Um, and then I'll take a little bit and put some on my inner corner because I like to be matchy matchy. And something I usually do that I totally forgot to do is I'll contour my nose a little bit. I've just been doing it. Um, I don't like not like my nose or anything. I just think it ties in the contour and the bronziness all together. And I'll just take my contour, tap a bit on the back of my hand. I saw that on YouTube. And then just here. So first I apply the color and then I'll go back in and blend it. I love Harry Styles' new album so much. I'm obsessed. I didn't really get into his last one, uh, mostly just because I have a hard time listening to new music, but I have been told by so many people that this one, his newest one is so good. Now on a fluffy little brush, I'll blend that out. Oh my goodness. And just like that, I think it just makes it look a little bit more I don't know, snatched, brought together. And now to finish the makeup off, I'm just going to set my face with a setting spray. Lately, I've been loving the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. And this is the completed makeup. So guys, that is my everyday makeup routine. This is pretty much what I do to my face every single day. It's the techniques I use, some of the products I love to use. I hope you enjoyed watching. I really enjoyed filming it. If you wanna see the completed look and some edited pictures with my hair done and everything, check out my Instagram. I will have it linked down below. I'm also on Twitter and I like to chat on there. So come follow me if you want to chitty chat. And I think that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.